tell you that the great red light gold rush began around Christmas 1926, but really, it started five months before that. And in a way, it was already over by then. This is how it really happened. A guy named Finley McCallum read a government report on how Red Lake might be worth a look. So he went to Toronto looking for a grub steak. That's somebody else's money to cover costs like, well, grub. Now he got talking with Lauren Howie in the bar of the King Eddie Hotel. Prospectors can always spot each other. It's, it's in the eyes. And he told them about the report. So Lauren and his brother Ray both found backers, but different ones. And they came up and started looking. Lauren with his partner, George McNeely, and Ray with a man named Frank Morgan. Well, after a month or more, they were all camped together on Burnt Bay. It's named after them now, and here's why. It was sometime in late July, and that night they were a hell of a thunderstorm. The next day, Ray was following a quartz vein. And about as far away as you could chuck a shovel, Lorne, who was hunting deer at the time, peeked under the roots of an upturned tree that had been hit by lightning. At exactly the same time, they both spotted free gold. That's gold right there on the surface here. And not nuggets, you understand, but traces full of promises. So they both looked up. They saw each other. The Lorne said, well, it looks like we found it. And Ray says, well, ain't that what we came up here for? See, the problem was, that they could see that they were both on the same vein, but they were working for different backers. So what did they do? Well, they just paced off the distance and staked their claims from the middle going back. And that was pretty much it. Of course, if you want to hear another story, 